Hello. Um, well, this is the uh, video, green screen video for question six. Uh, what technologies did you learn how to use over the course of the project? Technologies are already known. YouTube. I already knew how to use YouTube. I have a YouTube channel. It's how I, I've had it for about a year. I distributed uh, Guys Army to the internet via YouTube. Facebook. It's a no-brainer, really. Every team knows how to use Facebook. But I use this to create a uh, Facebook page for Guys Army, also for the purposes of distribution. Emails, I didn't personally use that much, um, but my dad, who liked the idea of Guys Army and all the military things, uh, having been on HMS staring with me, uh, spread the film around the MOD, his workplace, and uh, he was able to collect uh, lots of feedback on my behalf, which is very nice. Thank you, Dad. Skype. We used Skype to record and answer evaluation question one. We didn't even know what we were doing at the time. We just we were just talking about um, the codes and conventions of a thriller. What makes a thriller a thriller? We recorded it. Me with the Zoom. Uh, Louis recorded it through some other means, and ultimately the final version used was Louis, which is now found on the blog. We used SoundCloud. New technology for me, not so new for him, but I learned how to use SoundCloud through it. The blog itself is a new technology which I've never known how to use before. I um, I made a blog to be able to record the progress of the media project so I could keep track, of, uh, post up my progress, what I was doing here, there, my research. Adobe Photoshop CS 5.1. Um, I I already knew how to use this. I, I used uh, this to make the poster and website design for Guy Army, personally. Uh, Adobe After Effects, I'm still learning. I only started using it last October in preparation for Guy's Army, so that is effectively a new technology which I have learned to use over the course of Guy's Army. The, the cosmic zoom right at the start, the uh, all the warp stabilized footage which uh, Louis and I used to stabilize all the running shots from inside the tunnel which were very shaky um, and finally the, the last 20 seconds of guys army that CGI sequence was I spent three months building that that was crazy insane uh, Celtics I already knew how to use Celtics having written the script for spawn on my own project psyched on it uh, I used this to write the script for guys army Following the rule that a page equals a minute, so I wrote a three-page script. Somehow became a four-minute film, but oh well. Uh, Final Cut Express 4, I knew how to use this years before Guys Army. Um, this was used to edit the interactive trailer, uh, along with After Effects, to put tabs in for the options. Uh, the equivalent of this to which I learned over the course of Guys Army would be um, Adobe Premiere Pro, which is the Adobe equivalent of Final Cut. I prefer Final Cut, maybe it's... Because I've been using Final Cut for years, longer than I have Premiere, but uh, the, the the actual film, Guys Army, was edited within Premiere. Canon EOS 550D, I'm filming with it right now. Rode Video Make Pro. This thing. Zoom H4N, which is on the floor, I'll just... Here's the road. Uh, no, that's not road, sorry, that's the H4N Zoom Handy Recorder. Apple MacBook iMacs, obviously I need these for the editing, they're brilliant machines for movie making. Multiple SDHD cards to record the footage, there's one in there, 16 gig, one in there, 8 gig. Uh, Microsoft Word, not very exciting technology which I already knew how to use, but I still used it, so I, might, I thought I might as well put it into the script here. I learned how to use Twitter. I've never had a Twitter account before. Um, we, we, we all made one, an account near the start of the term, to be able to share our thoughts, our progress with Guys Army, if anything uh, media related happened, we'd tweet about it, such as the Oscars, we all got very excited around about the Oscars then, I tweeted about that. Prezi, I used, I learned how to use Prezi, new technology on the web, it's like PowerPoint, but it's zoomy, so it's not slide, 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 it's more like that's a not very good one. Uh, impersonation slideshare slideshare it's a website it's one of the technology which i found out can upload 
PowerPoints to the internet. One of the, one of the evaluation questions was made for PowerPoint and use SlideShare to be able to upload it to the internet and then embed it onto blogspot.com. Logic Pro 9, uh, this was a very useful piece of technology which Louis and I used to record the ADR to because on the set, on the location of Guy's Army in the IMAX tunnels, the footage that the road picked up uh, was terrible. It was it was horrible. It was horribly messy. Although in the film it looks like the area is completely deserted. There are actually people everywhere. It was just very careful framing that uh, I did to make it look like it was empty. Do you want to speed this up? This entire thing and put it in the bloopers. How long does it take to reshoot a four-second clip? Oh, I don't know. Maybe thirty seconds. A minute. Okay. It took twenty minutes. Oh. Because of people like these. Just, just, just remind them. But the sound betrayed us on that. We tried to use Adobe Audition CS 5.1, which I had also learned how to use over the course of Guy's Army. I've never used it before to try and clean it up. But something went horribly wrong. We started, Louis and I started sounding like middle aged men, so we decided to scrap that. Let's do ADR, which by the way stands for Additional Dialogue Recording, and just redo all the audio. SM58 microphone to record to in the Music Tech Studios and we recorded directly into Logic Pro 9, exported from there, re imported into the Adobe Premiere Pro file, which was Guy's Army. Uh, Encore we used to um, export Guy's Army from Premiere. It's an exporting program. We just took Guy's Army, the sequence from Premiere, into Encore, exported it into its own compressed file which we then uploaded to Venture Productions, my YouTube. Mocha A, uh, st stabilization footage. We used two types of stabilization, one through After Effects, the warp stabilizer, which gave us this electronic feel, which we actually really liked. It was completely by accident, but happy accident to her. So I think the shot where we are coming down the stairs, the, the establishing shot right before we start a conversation with the GA agent, that was done in Mocha. The other mocha clip was when we uh, came down the stairs and uh, in the raw footage our cameraman Matt Adams spun the zoom dial the wrong way so that in, in the raw footage there's a kind of wrong, um, a bit of an awkward zoom that doesn't that looks very awkward not very professional so we used mocha to smooth that out make it look nice and perfect the Pentax KX DSLR, which Louis owns, it's very, uh, it's actually quite sleek. It's white, unusual color for a DSLR. Anyway, we use that to film some of the BTS, which can be found on Venture Productions. We used it to film the uh, the interactive trailer. Yes, and we filmed it on the DSLR shoulder rig. Help achieve the very smooth kind of gliding look which I bought for the purposes of sight, but we ended up using for um, uh, Guy's Army Interactive Trailer as well, as a kind of test. You do. Um, by the time you're watching this, I will have learned how to use you do, but we haven't actually got round, I haven't actually got round to using you do yet to answer the question, but that's tomorrow, I think. But by the time you watch this, I will know how to use it look on the blog it will be there somewhere question number two I think was made with you do so I have learned how to use you do you know I haven't actually done it yet time paradox quick talk about the green screening here I am currently against a green screen which I'm now gonna turn the effects off so you can see it here I apologize for the sound of traffic can't help it it's the only place I can really do the green screening and it actually worked quite well I'm using this is no no budget hobbyists. I'm using bricks to weigh it down. Thank you for listening to my evaluation question six. I'll see you later.